I'm pretty sure that when you see 1 over cosine x is equal to cosecant x, you will be like, how is this even possible? Because we know 1 over cosine x should have been secant x, right? Hmm, but don't worry. This right here is not an identity, but this right here is actually a good equation, meaning that we can find some x values to make this equation true. Let me show you how. So I'm going to keep 1 over cosine x as how it is. But for the cosecant x, I'm just going to write it as 1 over sine x. Next, let's multiply the sine x on both sides. So this will be right here. And we will have this over cosine x. And that's equal to 1. What's sine x over cosine x? This right here is just tangent x. It's equal to 1. So if we can find x value right here so that tangent x is equal to 1, then this right here will be true. So now the question is, tangent of what angle will be 1? Well, of course, let's refer to the unit circle. We know that if you want to have 1, you can have 1 over 1. So we can have y over x, 1, 1 like this, right? 1, 1. And this right here is the 45, 45 special right triangle. And right here, this will just be pi over 4. But we can also have negative 1, negative 1 like this. And as you can see, this angle is also going to be pi over 4, but we can actually just go from pi over 4, and then we can just add pi to it and get to this terminal side. And of course, you can just keep adding pi or subtract pi, and you can get the whole solution. So as you can see, in order for this to be true, x just have to be, we have the first pi over 4, and then we just have to add, let's put 2 pi k or 2 n, pi or whatever that you guys like. Usually I like to put on 2n pi and then I should also tell you that n is an integer meaning that we can just I mean pi over 4 and we just have to add n pi and that will indicate that n is an integer because this means that you can just keep adding pi or subtract pi in order to get to this or that terminal site. Alright, so this right here is it.